you will fail this quiz. I'm gonna play you little bits of casual American English conversation, anywhere from two to four words in a row, and you will not be able to tell what the words are. Even native speakers will fail this quiz. I've done this with my parents, my brother, my friends, and husband, they all fail. In a minute, I'm gonna test you. This failure illustrates an important point for my non-native English speaking students. No wonder English is so hard to understand if you're not a native speaker. It's okay. It's not you. It's English. Click here or in the video description to get a free cheat sheet, The Sounds of American English. It's a great reference tool and even I use it quite a bit. Now, let's get to that quiz. Question number one. What is being said here? Do you need to hear it again? Here. I'm even going to give you a hint. You're hearing four words. Now, one thing you might be saying is, can you turn it up? That's too quiet to understand. Yes. Volume is one of the differences between stressed and unstressed syllables. American English is a stress-timed language, which means we need this contrast. A stressed syllable is longer, louder. It usually has an up-down shape of the melody of the voice. It has more vocal energy. An unstressed syllable is shorter, quieter, flatter in pitch, less vocal energy. In fact, all of these characteristics of unstressed syllables can make speech so unclear that if you isolate just those words, native speakers can't understand. Before I give you the answer to question one, let's see how my friends and family did with this question. No, I need to hear it again. Okay, here it is again. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. No idea. Okay. Not a clue. No, they don't get it. Do you? Here it is again. Not sure. No idea. Nothing. No idea. Okay. Sure, sure. Do you know? I just wanted to. I think it's something all that. I was gonna say something about. Do I ask? Do I do I something? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great, but totally wrong. I'm gonna tell you the answer in just a second. First, let's see just two more people fail. <laughs> it's so, I mean, I even know what it is. And that, even that time it was, I was like, what? Okay. Something my husband? No. So seven native speakers, not one person got it. These are four words in a row. It's not like a single syllable. I'm going to play it for you one more time. Be bold right now. Put in the comments. I think the answer to number one is... Okay, here for the last time. Now here's what's crazy. I'm going to play you the whole sentence. If you're a native speaker, you're probably going to understand every word I say effortlessly. My friends and family did. Before we hear the full sentence, a huge thanks to all my supporters here on YouTube, everyone who's joined my channel. They get special badges to make their comments pop, early release of videos when available, and also the top tier gets a free monthly audio lesson. Thank you. Click join to learn more. Okay, here's the sentence. And yeah, I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happens between us and the photographer. Did you get it? Well, let me play you the whole sentence. Tell me if it seems clear now. And yeah, I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happens between us and the photographer. I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happens between us and the photographer. Exactly. So right away, you understand. When you hear the whole sentence, those little words make a lot of sense. And it sounds a lot more natural than each word being clear. Whatever conversation happens between us and the photographer. The contrast of stress and unstressed is vital to natural spoken English. And sometimes I have a hard time convincing my students just how much you need to take out of unstressed words. They think, I can't do it like that. No one will understand what I'm saying. Exactly. Just these unstressed words, maybe nobody would understand. But in the context of a whole sentence, yes, we understand. And we're used to that rhythmic contrast it puts us at ease. And yeah, I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happens between us and the photographer. 
and yeah, I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happen happens between, between us, us and, and the, the photographer. photographer. Exactly that was right. You. That was me. Mm -hmm. Very good. That was this one. It was the first one I played. Between us, the between us and the photographer. Right, between us and the photographer. Between us and the. Mm -hmm. Right. When you know what it is, I it's think impossible. it is a little bit easier to pick it up, but it is so funny how you yeah. hear the sentence and you're like, yeah. total comprehension. You hear yeah. the snippet and you're like, and it's not even like it was part of a word, it was like three or four words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blows my mind. Have you ever noticed, like, even an English teacher might say like too much? <laughs> but magically, this snippet that was so unclear that no one could understand is immediately understandable in the whole sense. I'm gonna give you six more questions. I think at best, you'll get one right. And yeah, I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happens between us and the photographer. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happens <laughs> yeah. between me and the photographer. <laughs> yes, yeah. between us and the photographer. Okay. Did you hear us or did you hear me? And yeah, I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happens between us and the photographer. Yeah, us. us. I, yeah. I just... Yeah. Okay, so you guys get how the game works. I play a clip, you will not be able to understand it. I will play clips of my friends and family also failing the quiz questions. Everyone fails. No need to feel bad. Then I'll play the whole clip and you'll get it. We'll watch the light bulb go on. I get it for my friends and family. Remember the point. Understand the contrast of American English. Understand that to get the contrast, some speech needs to be unclear. For my students at the end, I'll give you some training on unstressed words like these in a row, like what we're hearing here. Question number two, what is being said? Wanna look at Need it again? Wanna look at Put your guess in the comments. Wanna look at Something hold on, look it? That's partially correct. No, I'm okay. Well, I'll play it again. Wanna look at? Sounds like a child. Um, I don't know. I got no sounds. No I guesses. Got no words. I no guesses. Okay. Yeah. Wanna look at? Wanna look at? Let me hear it again. What he said. Wanna look at? You wanna hear it again, Mom? Yeah. Wanna look at? It could be wanna look at. I'm going to play it for you one more time. Wanna look at Did you get it? My brother did actually get this one right. Wanna look at Wanna look at Bravo, Ian. The whole sentence is So you wanna look at me, okay? So you wanna look at me, okay? You wanna look. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, Ian got it. That's probably the easiest one out of the set. So you wanna look at me, okay? So you want to look at me okay, mm -hmm. Molly. Right. Photography shoot with okay. the boys. Uh, that was the one where she was like, so you want to look at Oh, and you it guys sounded were like, like a small child. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. In the context, it doesn't sound that high, but it is funny to me also how sometimes mm -hmm. if you take a snippet, it seems unnaturally high. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. know, she was talking to kids and her energy was a little bit higher, but in the sentence, it doesn't sound too crazy. No. Yeah. So you want to so you, you wanna look, look at me. me, okay? It's so clear, isn't it? Yeah. Question number three, identify this. Give. Give? You? I love this so much. <laughs> I love stumping native speakers with their own language. Eve. <laughs> Eve, give. Okay. My dad had the same guess as John, give, but that's not right. Give? Do you? Oh. Play it again. Yeah. Give. Oh, do you maybe. Then that time I heard give. give. <laughs> <laughs> Once he planted the seed. I'm gonna give you one more listen. Give. Got it? Here's the whole sentence. So but when do you think these are from? So David got it right on the second listen. This is do you. So when do you think these are from? So when do you? Which you guys also got. Mm-hmm. Two for seven. Yes. 
So when do you think these are from? When do you think these are from? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when do you... So what you heard in that little fragment was do and you. Yeah. Jeez. That do. was really short. Though. Yeah. But in the sentence, clear. So when do you think these are from? So, so when do you think these are from? Exactly. No one is having any problem with this sentence hearing it just once. No one is thinking they're hearing give. Question four. Here it is. And I have it. Let me play that again for you. Can I have it? Can I have Can it? Can I have it? No, but that is what it sounds like. What? Can I have it? Can, Can I, I have, have it? it? Can I have it? Can I have it? They have the same guess as John and Amanda. Close, but not quite it. Can I have it? Can I have it? That one seemed pretty clear to yeah. me. You heard it too? I heard it too. Can I have it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For the record, that's not correct. Good. <laughs> I'm like, I'm definitely Can sure. I have one? <laughs> but I agree, it sounds like that. <laughs> Everyone guessed the same. That's the only time that happened with this quiz. Is that what you also guessed? Let's listen again. And I haven't. Here's the full sentence. Not as much daily, and I haven't found my daily ring look. Mm -hmm. Not as much daily, and I haven't found my daily ring look. Uh -huh. Oh, not as much daily, and not I haven't found my daily ring look. The snippet that you didn't understand before was, and I haven't. Oh. And I haven't. Not as much daily, and I haven't found my daily ring look. Uh -huh. not, not as, as much, much daily, daily, and I haven't found my daily ring look? Ring look? Yes, exactly. Ring look. Out of context, she was talking about a ring. Oh. Out of context, I feel like that is hard, but you still totally got it. Not as much daily, and I haven't found my daily ring oh. look. Oh, and I haven't. And I haven't. And I haven't. <laughs> Tricky, isn't it? Question five. What do you hear? Cheer. Hmm. Let's play that again. Cheer. Cheer. Cheers? That's why I'm not cheering. It does sort of sound like that. That's not what it is. But it does <laughs> of sort of it's not. it does sort of sound like that. Cheer. <laughs> Cheer. Cheer. It sounds like dad. Cheer. It's actually Stephen Colbert. Oh. Cheer. Chirp. Cheer. Uh Cheer. Cheer. It's it's part of it's your. It's your? Hmm. Maybe. I have to give a shout out to my dad here. In general, he was terrible at this game, but this was a great guess. Not a hundred percent right, but close. Cheer. Cheers. No, to I, your, I didn't hear anything. To your, like... Cheer. Yeah. Let's hear it again. Cheer. To I, your, to your point, to your point. Mm -hmm. What do you think? You listen one more time. Cheer. David and Renee were right. Here's the whole sentence. Now, you recently have added a, a, a new credit to your name. Can you hear it now? To your chirp. Now, you recently have added a, a, a new credit to your name. Now, you recently have added a new credit to your name. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that was cheer that I think you guys uh, were sort of on to. I uh -huh. think you, you guys maybe I said that. I think you, you okay. knew. Yeah. Actually, they had both gotten it. Now, you recently have added a, a, a new credit to your name. Now, now you, you have, have recently <laughs> added a, a new credit to your name. <laughs> exactly. That sounds like a talk show. It's Stephen Colbert. I was going to say, it sounds yeah. like Colbert. It's Colbert. <laughs> now, you recently have added a, a, a new credit to your name. To, to your, your name. To your, to your name. name. To your name. Mm -hmm. sure. 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 If you're wondering where the CH sound is coming from, it comes from the T and the R. Take the word train. For example, most native speakers will say train with a CHR, not TR. The CHR pronunciation is actually more common for TR words than the TR pronunciation. So in the phrase to your, there's so much reduction, so many sounds dropped, that the TR sounds are coming together to make that CHR sound tr. Just two questions left. Question six. Got it. Got it. Mm. Got it. Got it. Dunna. Dunna. Gotta. Or gonna. Dunna. Gonna. Or gotta. Of course. Got it. 
Down in. Down in. Do you have a guess? Belly. <laughs> Belly. <laughs> Dunna, gonna, gotta. Now we add the guesses down in and belly. Are any of these your guesses? Bella. Got it? I'm gonna hear it again. Bella. It does sound like got it. Ballot. Got it. Got it. Ballot. Got it. Listen one last time. Got it. This one is tricky. Here's the full sentence. Walked out of the movie Lake House. Did you all get it? Here it is again. Walked out of the movie Lake House. Walked out of the movie Lake House. Walked out of the movie Lake House? Yeah. Uh-huh. Zach Galifianakis talking to someone, oh. huh? This was a clip from the Zach Galifianakis show Between Two Ferns. Walked out of the movie Lake House. What was the sentence? Walked Walk out, out of, of the, the movie. movie late once. <laughs> I thought he said Lake House. He did. Here, let's play it again. Walked out of the movie Lake House. Walked out of the movie Lake House. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Apparently the movie Lake House was terrible. Out of the. Did you get that one? Out of the. Here's the last question. I think it's the hardest one. I was what do you hear? I was I was that was a ghost. Okay, again. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, isn't it? This is actually three words. I was no. So, so like as if something? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Actually, it's not as if. What? It's <laughs> <laughs> a, a car driving past. David doesn't even think he hears anything that sounds remotely like a word. No idea. Wishup. Wishup? Do you have Wish guesses? upon a star? That's what I. <laughs> okay, do you have a guess, Ian? One more time. Okay. Nope, I don't have a guess. I'm sticking with Wishup. My dad's guess is Wishup, which for a record is not a word in English. I'm going to play you the whole sentence now. Can you get it? It was a really long time ago, Ani. Was the whole thing clear? Let's hear it again. It was a really long time ago, Ani. The three words in question were that was a. Uh. That was a really long time ago, honey. That was a really, really long time, time ago. Right? That yeah, sounds I mean, like her mom or family. You guys crushed every single one of those sentences. Yeah. No problem whatsoever. That was a really long time ago, honey. It was a really long time ago, honey. It's actually that, I think. That, that was, was, a, really that long. was a really long time Yeah. But it's that true that a... that and it can actually reduce to that the same sounds. Really long time it was a really long time ago, honey. It was a really long time ago, honey. It, it was, was a really, really long, long time, time ago, honey. honey. It's actually that. That was a really long oh. time ago, honey. It was a really long time ago, honey. Wow. All right. No wonder people can't understand us. People can. They just have to learn the tricks. Okay, so sentence one. And yeah, I'm just trying to get whatever conversation happens between us and the photographer. The fragment in the quiz was this. Between us and the between us and the, between us and the, between becomes tween. B kind of sound in front, tween, between, but not really its own syllable. Between us and the, between us and the, the N links right into the uh for us, between us and the, the word and reduces us and, us and, us and the, us and the. The word the, we have the voiced TH beginning an unstressed word. You don't need to bring your tongue tip through for this TH sound. It can just touch the backs of the teeth. Don't lift the tongue tip and release it. That will sound like a D, but rather bring it forward and pull it back. The, 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 between us and the, between us and the, between us and the. You're gonna have to really simplify your mouth movements to match this speed. Between us and the. Now you try it. I'm gonna play it. Then there will be a gap for you to say it. We'll do it five times in a row. Play it, say it. Really simplify your mouth movements as you do this. Between us and the between us and the between us and the between us and the 
between us and the Sentence two. So you want to look at me, okay? And the fragment in the quiz was this. You want to look at Want to look at. Want to look at. Want to look at. Want to becomes wanna. Very common reduction. Want to look at. The word look, not stressed here. Want to look at. Lower in pitch, lower energy. The word at reduces to the schwa. Uh, uh, uh. And the T is a stop T because the next word, me, begins with a consonant that will usually be a stop T. It can sound dropped to my students, but we don't hear it as dropped. Native speakers still hear it as a T because of just the little stop quality, the little lift. It me, it me, it me, it me. Want to look at, want to look at, so again, we'll have a play it, say it training section. Match exactly what you hear. Don't stop. Don't fix. Just hear the next iteration and repeat it again. Want to look at? 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 Sentence three. So but when do you think these are from? The fragment in the quiz. If do you. Do. 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 You can think of both of these vowels as the schwa. I can do this without moving my lips at all. Do. 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 It's just the tongue moving inside. Do. Do. Linking together like a single word. No separation. Here's your training section. Play it. Say it. Five times. If, 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 if. Sentence four. Not as much daily, and I haven't found my daily ring look. Mm -hmm. The fragment in the quiz. And I haven't. And I have not. And I haven't becoming, and I haven't, and I haven't, and reduces. It's just the N sound. That links right into the I diphthong, ni, ni. In the word haven't, she's dropping the H. And I haven't, and I haven't, and I haven't. And I haven't, not as much daily, and I haven't found my daily ring look. Mm -hmm. The T at the end of an apostrophe T contraction can be dropped or a stop T. In the whole sentence, I feel it more as a stop. Avent, mm, mm, mm. that abrupt stop of air that symbolizes the T. Avent. Okay, now play it, say it five times in a row. Avent. 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 Sentence five. Now, you recently have added a, a, a new credit to your name. And the fragment in the quiz. To your. To your. To your. The T sounding a little bit more like a CH. That's the influence of the R coming later. To your. To your. To your. Play it, say it five times. Isn't it interesting? It's not to your. There's a lot less happening with your mouth. Sure. Sentence six. Walked out of the movie Lake House. And the fragment. Got it. Uh, uh, really unclear. The T in out becomes a flap. The word of reduces to just the schwa. So out of becomes outa, but not pronounced nearly that clearly. Uh, 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 again, the word the, that voiced th, tongue tip won't come through the teeth. It just touches the backs of the teeth and then pulls away quickly. The, 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 out the, out the. 
If you're thinking the words out of the, it will be impossible to pronounce this so quickly. So forget the words, forget what you see in black and white, just focus on what you hear. Now, the play it, say it five times. You repeat in the pause. The last sentence. I was a really long time ago, honey. And the fragment was. I was. That was a. Uh. The th can be dropped in the word that, and that's what's happening here. The vowel in that can reduce to the schwa, so that becomes th. Super quick schwa, then a stop t, because the next word begins with a consonant. The word was absolutely not fully pronounced, but it becomes this, 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 so fast. Then the article, just a schwa at the end, was it, was it, was it. So that was a uh, becomes. That was, that was, that was. Now you do it, play it, say it five times. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was. I call these reduction strings when we have these unstressed words or syllables in a row. If you want to train with more of this kind of audio, I do have a chapter that has reduction string training in it in my academy. This would be in the Stress 3 course. So check out rachelsenglishacademy.com and sign up if you want more of this kind of work. If you're interested in training all of the reductions of American English, not to mention all the sounds, check out my online school and number one accent training ground rachelsenglishacademy.com. I would love to have you as my student. It's the best way to train those muscles and change your habits. Keep your learning going now with this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on to my channel here on YouTube. I love being your English teacher. That's it and thanks so much for using Rachel's English.